So actually today uh, we are not going to see much things about user design. I'm going to explain what it is. But in tomorrow, uh, we will see more deep about a user reducer. Uh, one of the uh, big package, a big third party, third party package, which is built with user reducer is actually Redux. So Redux is a uh, excellent tool to handle the global state across the application. Wherever we need, uh, we can use it. Uh, we can we have the separate plugin for that. We can see what are the variables there, what is the state variable value. So everything we can see here. Okay, that entire thing I will cover by uh, uh, by tomorrow. Okay. So first, uh, we will see what is user reducer. So user reducer name itself, it will uh, going to uh, it will have the two different sections. In the left hand section, we have the uh, we have the value uh, in the left side, right? So we have the state value. So this state variable will give back the state value. What is the state value we have? And the dispatch is nothing but will help us to update the state value. So uh, as usual, this is a variable to get access from to get value uh, from the state. This this is the function. Uh, help us to update the state value. So that's the thing. And in the right hand side, we have the reducer. Inside the here, we are mentioning the reducer is a string. We can create a separate functions or uh, separate variables that that is actually going to denote. So what is uh, which reducer we need to call? We can write multiple reducers. Like uh, if you want to add uh, add buttons, add products, or uh, uh, add item to wish list, add product to checkout, like that. There are multiple, right? So th these are the, some list of functionalities. So, uh, for example, I'm going to add one product to the wish list. At the same product, I'm going to add add to cart. So, at this time, you can't use same reducer for these two functionalities, right? At that time, you need to create the multiple reducers. Then you need to put which reducer you want. And this is these are the initial arg arguments uh, for the particular state, like how we are using the normal use state within the component. And uh, this is initial initialization. So, at, at what time it needs to initialize like that? So, just uh, understand. So, what are the things we have? Uh, in the user reducer. In tomorrow's call, I will explain you uh, how to set up Redux in your application, in the existing application, and uh, how to create a reducers, how to create the actions, and how to fetch the value uh, for the particular state of a state from the Redux store. So this will be uh, this will I cover by tomorrow.